Hi everyone! In the spirit of exam week or weeks, whatever your case may be, today's video is entirely dedicated to study. So I have a bunch of topics I would like to cover. Hopefully I don't ramble and I get to cover all of them. Uh, I want to talk about starting to study, about motivation, organization, how do you study and juggle multiple exams at the same time that are coming your way. I want to talk about procrastination and give you a clear example of that today and knowing when to stop. So when to just put your books away and take a breather, okay? Today's video, however, is a bit of a different format and I really want to try to do this more often if you guys really like it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Um, I was inspired by Instagram stories where I just talked to you guys more openly. I didn't script anything. I found that the content was more organic, speaking from experience, and a lot of people seem to like it a bit more than my more structured videos. But again, I don't know. I still want to do a mix, but I do want to know if you guys like this more. I called it hashtag sis talk, kind of chillax pep talks with your uh, big sister. Granny Anna. I really think we should start with procrastination because when we have to study, we end up doing random stuff like your girl did and uh, I ended up con marrying my entire closet and hey, you know, since we're doing it all, I'm gonna do a try on haul at the same time because I'm not gonna lie, I love me some fashion so don't worry if you don't. I'm just gonna put the fashion inserts on the side here so you can still listen to school advice while you let other people that like fashion as much as me enjoy the fashion side, okay? In my opinion, the number one thing to know when it comes to procrastination is to recognize that it is procrastination. Meaning, I know you're well-intentioned to clean or revamp your house or your closet or do the dishes or wash the windows. And it is oftentimes very difficult to spot the difference because our mind genuinely tricks us into believing that we are doing this because it is absolutely necessary and essential and urgent. So a little trick I have for you to spot procrastination is to do that Where's the book? The little table in the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'm gonna put an insert if I can find it right here. Sit down, put studying and whatever that little thing you have the urge of doing, like I said, washing dishes, uh, organizing your closet, whatever it may be, put those two activities in that box. In my opinion, if it's visible and it's on paper, there's no denying it. Your brain cannot trick you anymore. You're just there like, wow, this looks like I'm trying to procrastinate. I mean, sad, effective, and true. So, next topic, starting to study. Nobody wants to start studying, okay? Nobody. No matter what lie they tell you, starting, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult things to do because it requires you to get into the mindset of, you know, not watching The Matrix. This is the most beautiful coat I ever owned. It is lined. It is insanely good quality. I got it because I want it to be Trinity for Halloween, but you know what? I'm actually gonna wear this. So, the goth kid in me is extremely happy about that one. What always helped me buckle up and just do the work is making studying look appealing. Uh, making my desk and my study environment extremely comfortable and relaxing. I know this is a very bad example because you should always study at a desk and not in your bed. It is bad for your back, take it from my experience. However, this is the only way I push myself to start studying after commuting two hours from my university to get back home at minus 42 in winter. So what I did was I just plumped all my books and my laptop and everything I had to study from on my bed. My little dog would come cuddle next to me. And on my nightstand, I would make myself a nice cup of tea and I would get some fruit or some biscuits or whatever you want. And I would just wrap myself in covers. And that's how I started to study because I associated it with comfort, relaxing, and just me time. Strange enough, right? Look! It's so cute! I also want to get something for New Year's. What are you guys doing for New Year's, by the way? I want to do something extravagant. Like, not just stay home. 
Last year we went to the casino and that was cool because I'd never been to the casino in my entire life so I wanted to see what the fuss is about. Not really my thing. This dress is very see-through see but I have another dress to put under this. Either way, yeah, leave it in the comments down below what are you doing for New Year's because I'm looking for inspiration. Speaking of inspiration, let's migrate to the next topic which is motivation. Another not so fun but very real word of advice is you will never be motivated to study okay just just face the facts okay i mean the first part of healing is admitting it admit it you don't want to study do you think i do i never want ever when did i ever want to study never that that's when mel robbins said it best there's no one there to hold you accountable for what you have to do take it as practice for adulthood right because nothing says adult quite like a gothic dress but i mean it is so beautiful i need more hangers do not go on a shopping spree to buy more hangers <laughs> Didn't I do a purge of all my clothes like two minutes ago? I have problems. Motivation, in my opinion, is a myth. I don't believe in waiting for a feeling to do something that you know you have to do. You are responsible for things that are within your control. You're not responsible for other people, but you are responsible for what you do, for the work you put in, for the tasks that you have to do. They are assigned for you to do. So studying is one of those things. Do not wait for a feel-good feeling. What even is a motivation feeling anyway? I don't really know. Instead of focusing on that, I would rather focus on momentum. That's why I always promote active reading because you feel like you are in movement when you're studying. You feel like you have things to do and you check things off your list, which kind of translate into quick wins, okay? So when you see that you're winning, Oh, it will give you that vibe of I'm accomplishing things, things are moving, studying is actually going somewhere, you know? So instead of motivation, instead of waiting for that special thingly feeling, focus on building momentum, focus on making your study sessions as active and engaging as possible. I know you don't want to talk about organization, but since we're organizing all the leather skirts your girl just bought, they're back in style, so I got me a lot of beautiful vegan leather, obviously vegan leather, dresses and skirts and everything. Oh, darling. Especially these ones. I got me so many of these. This one has little buttons. I need to buy hangers to hang these properly. I'm gonna put these in my closet after. All nice. No matter what you say, organization is extremely important. And don't get me wrong, there are some people that are organized in their disorder. I just want to emphasize once again to make your study environment as inviting as possible. I don't know about you, but when it's messy, I procrastinate because I want to clean everything up or I'm just not inspired to go in that area and get work done. What I really want to stress when it comes to organization is minimalism, okay? I know this is a bad example, but trust me, my closet is empty. This will go in my empty closet, okay? But minimalism is key also when it comes to studying. Only keep on your desk the things that you are going to actively work on during that study session. I do not want you to break focus just because there's a bunch of other books on your desk that shouldn't be there. And yes, I should be kept away from the kitchen because I just sliced my hand over there and burned my finger over there. Don't ask. When it comes to studying for multiple exams that are coming your way all at once, there's one crucial thing you need to understand and always remember. There is no such thing as multitasking. We are incapable as human beings to do multiple things correctly all at the same time. What your brain actually does is called task switching, which is very, very draining and exhausting on your mind. Oh, okay, no more math? Do, do. Okay, history, do, do. I know people that study for two or three different topics in one night or in one day. I personally was never able to do this because I would just confuse everything. So what I would do is I would be like, okay, Monday, Tuesday is just math. That's all I am living and breathing. And then 
Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it's just biology. I feel like it's a better way to get lost in studying, to enter the study bubble. Last thing I wanted to talk about is knowing when to stop. This is for you all-nighters or for students that just doubt themselves and think that no matter what, no matter how much they study, it is never enough. There's always something they might have missed. There's always something that slips your study radar. A little trick I have that has always worked for me, by the way, very Joker inspired with the little overalls. Excellent movie. Excellent, go see it. Making sure that when you finish something, like you complete a chapter or you go over your study guide once or whatnot, you have a sort of marker for the end. So the end of your study session or the end of a chapter or the end of a task. For me, that has always been a practice test. Whether it was just two questions or 20 or 30, this, in my opinion, is the best way to make your brain and your body and soul know that this marks a completion of something and then you can have proper closure and move on to something else. At one point, it's time to stop and go to bed. So with that being said, I think I rambled on for long enough. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like a more cis talk type of video. Don't worry, the other more structured ones are still coming your way like I promised. And if you liked anything I showed throughout this video, uh, I recently got it, so it's still available. It's actually in discount right now, not sponsored. I put the links down below for everything uh, I personally got. No, I don't make money off of you clicking on the links, just I put it there because I love Shein. And I know someone suggested I do a video on improving communication and being a better communicator overall. The video was ready. For some reason, the file got corrupt and I completely lost it. So I'm gonna have to refilm that for you, but don't worry, my friend, it's a comment. Bye guys, good luck with your exams. <laughs>